Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is Rescuing the Lost, a matter of choice. Brothers and sisters, we know that our main objective in our harvest work is to rescue the lost sheep. What kind of lost sheep? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. The house of Israel is what we see today in the sleeping churches, what we see today in the ones who proclaim they believe in God, but still are not yet on that path, who have not yet cleaned their garment in the blood of the Lamb. The lost sheep who are still active in the world, who have gone astray in the world who have fallen to the temptation of the enemy. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, not the house of Judah, that will come during trumpets, during seals is the end of the church age. So we have to go and rescue this sheep. How do we do that? By presenting to them the truth that was revealed to us over the last seven years. If you want to put it to one point, then say you will rescue them through the masterpiece of the end times. Telling them why these things are happening and what is next and how they can reach eternal life. And then we tell them to come out of the world, out of Babylon and out of the churches. And walk that path that with us together towards Mount Zion. And there, there will be the rapture of the church. And the multitude clothed in white will be taken into paradise. So, you present to them the truth, everything what was revealed to you. You are the rock in the storm and the beacon of light in the darkness. You are standing like this in the image here, before the lost sheep, and tell them, Come with me. And now it is up to them to recognize the voice of the shepherd through you. To recognize the voice of the Lord, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through you. Because you will walk as is his image here on earth. And now it's up to them to believe what you have said. And it's up to them to receive and more understanding through the Holy Spirit. They have a free will. You cannot force them. You cannot grab them and force them if they do not want. Not every lost sheep will be rescued, brothers and sisters. It is a matter of choice. Some of them are so comfortable in their world, they will never leave it. Some of them have fallen so deeply to the enemy that they will not come out. Some of them are so proud in their churches that they will not turn. It's a matter of choice, a matter of accepting the truth, accepting the kingdom of God, accepting the call, accepting that they need to be part of the great exodus, to come out of it and to reject the Antichrist and his flatteries. We talked about it. His plan will be so very closely to the masterpiece of the end time, so close as it possibly be. But of course, deep involved in this plan of the Antichrist are the doctrines of Lucifer, population cuts, bondage and slavery, one ruler over them all. These are all the doctrines of Lucifer that he did already in the time when he was a false light. Satan, when he was a false light, the Luciferum light, the false light, when he was this one, in the second 7,000 years. He wanted to be the ruler over them all. And he wanted to bind and bound them into slavery, into slavery as slaves to his empire. These are the doctrines of Lucifer. Of course, it will be very much in the background of what the Antichrist will proclaim. He will say, I will bring you order out of chaos. He will come in with a lot of things and I will promise them a lot. 
but it's up to the lost sheep either to be, remain with him and believe him or to come out and understand that the rescue has come to them. It is a matter of choice. They all have a free will. You know, you have your instructions what is going to happen when they reject your words, when they reject the voice of the shepherd. You know what you have to do. It is written in Luke 10, right? When they reject you, then, dust the f then uh, take the dust off your feet and move on to the next one. I'm telling you, not all will be rescued. I'm telling you, it is a matter of choice, and you must understand this. Do not dwell too long in one place. There are so many lost sheep that need rescue. Do not dwell too long on people who will not accept the message. Never, ever enter into a discussion with a mocker or a scoffer. It is absolutely useless and will only lead to strife and that will take away part of your glory. Just leave them. If, that, if people are coming right now already without being yet in the harvest, when people are coming to me and say what you say is a lie, you are a deceiver, then I cut them off from my channel. And I tell them, go from wherever you have come from to your own master, to Satan. You have understood nothing. Zero. Such a, a lost sheep cannot be rescued. And I'm not going to entertain it. But I continue with the next ones who are willing to listen, who, are, who knows, who can hear the voice of the shepherd of Jesus Christ through all the messages. So I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, do not worry. You might meet in the beginning many of the lost sheep who will not accept your voice. Do not doubt that your mission is, is correctly and that it has begun. Do not doubt that. You will come to the point when you will bring in a huge harvest. A huge harvest for the Lord. You will be the ones mentioned in Second Esdras chapter 13 where as it mentioned, and some will be standing before the Son of Man with offering in his hands. These offerings, that is a harvest. Some will be there without offerings. It's because they, they were killed for their faith, they were resurrected, they are standing there. They haven't anything in their hands because they were not there during the harvest. And then others have offerings. Brothers and sisters, it is all in the scriptures. It is all there. But you need to understand that we still remain in our mortal bodies. And so I know that doubts can come in, that fear can come in, that temptations will come in, that all will be there. But know and understand that you have to, now when you enter your physical manifestation, that you have to continue on the path no matter what. Do not go away from the past to join a church. Do not go away from the past to remain in a, in a nice living status in the world. Do not go away from the past and follow the Antichrist. That will all take away your crown. And then who has taken away your crown? You, you yourself have thrown away that crown. So you need to understand that when such a situation will arise, and this lost sheep, as you see here in the image, will not come into your hands, but it will run away. Then just go to the next one. Just go to the next one. Do not dwell too long on mockers and scoffers and rejecters and the ones who are doomed for the lake of fire. Don't. The Lord will guide you to the next one. And there, maybe this sheep is just waiting for you. And when it sees you, it sees your light that comes from the covering of this mantle of light, then it will run to you. It will jump to you. It will jump into your arms and you will carry that lost sheep home to paradise. 
That is your duty. That is Isaiah 61, to set the captives free. Do not dwell on the ones who are bound to for hell, but focus on the ones that understand and can hear the voice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, through your messages. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.